what's going on guys welcome back to another video i know it's been a little bit hope everybody's doing good i hope you guys are enjoying the videos i put out lately um the cinematic video i made with ruby i uh, hope you guys are enjoying that i'll make a little bit more of those videos since you guys seem to like that a lot it just takes a little bit um but today yeah we're going to be working on project r we're going to be working on a hatch I've done some stuff off camera. Basically, we, uh, we're gonna be painting the interior. Uh, I painted a couple plastic pieces from that grayish color to black to have that black and red uh, interior. So we're gonna be um, doing some more and I'll show you guys what, what, what exactly am I doing to paint the uh, plastic pieces and what products I use. Uh, if you guys have any better ideas, because I'm I, I don't I know nothing about painting. I just Googled and YouTube, you know, how to paint some plastic stuff. But if you guys have any better 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 ideas, then I'm all for it. Just drop it down in the comments. And uh, yeah, so I'll show you guys what I've done so far. Are so still gutted. I've taken out some more um, more pieces. So here's one of the pieces that I painted. Not sure if you can see. You can see the difference in the light. This is black and this is the color stock color so came out pretty this one came out pretty good um so what else did i take out i took out the radio I took out the this little these little plastic pieces so i'm gonna go paint that and see how those turn out i haven't really been doing too much on the hatch too much painting because of the weather it's been um you know rather cold so not really optimal to spray paint in the cold weather but today is about it's gonna be about 60 so we'll take advantage and let's get to work so the first thing that you got to do is basically make sure you clean this thing with uh, water and a little bit of soap dry it out real good I'm not gonna be cleaning the back but I'm just I mean I'm not gonna be spray painting the back but I am gonna make sure that it's still clean because I'm OCD like that so make sure front and back is nice and clean and dry. And then we move on to the next step, which is uh, the, the acetone. Make, make sure you get some gloves too. You don't want this thing to be, uh, you don't want this thing to be like, just straight up on your hands. Get your gloves, get some of this acetone, throw it on a little rag, and then you just wipe the, uh, wipe the part with this. Make sure this thing is nice and clean of any sort of wax or any any sort of grease or anything. This make sure of that. So after you take your acetone, and I have a 800 grit sandpaper and a little bit of water to wet sand it, and we just sand the complete, the whole part that's going to be painted, obviously. So put some water on there, and then start sanding. So after you're done sanding, make sure you dry it off real good. So you'll know you're ready when you, it looks basically faded and like whitish and ashy. So that's when it's ready to be painted. These are the two products that I use. Uh, first, I'm using a adhesion promoter from Rust-Oleum. Uh, it's a primer base to make sure the paint sticks a little bit better. I'll be using that. And then I have Duplicolor vinyl and fabric. And make sure you get the black one or whatever color you want. So shake that up real good. And then start spray painting. It's time for the actual paint. So. So 
so after uh, the first coat, you let that dry for a little bit, then uh, come back with a second coat or a third coat or however many coats you want to make sure you get full coverage. And then when you're satisfied with it, with it you can just uh, give it a couple days before you actually um, put it back on the car and boom, you have cheap Type R parts. So this is basically the procedure that I was doing to get some of the parts that I already painted previously. Uh, if you guys have any better ideas or any better tips that help get better results, I'd greatly appreciate that. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and paint a couple more pieces and then I'll show you the side by side of painted versus not painted. So we are back and it's been maybe what like three hours since the last time I spray painted anything so I just want to show you guys some painted pieces versus some non painted pieces so you can see the difference in black versus gray because sometimes it might not look that all darker but once you put it next to the other part then you'll see it so I put some these are the painted ones Oh, actually, let me go ahead and uh, get this. So, this will make you appreciate a little bit more painted, not painted. So, that's uh, pretty, pretty good. I actually like how they came out. So, now to put it against some other stuff that hasn't been painted this is uh painted versus not painted so i haven't i haven't put the door in yet it's still outside um just showing you guys a big difference painted not paint or painted not painted so you can definitely see the big difference yeah this thing is a mess right now but Thank you guys for watching the video and hope you guys have an awesome day.